giving people a little time to let the notification that I'm live kind of hit. I'm not going to take too long because um, it's a hard word today, y'all, to be perfectly honest. And I had to really pray before I gave it because um, it's direct correction from the Lord today. So, um, I just wanted to have a clear vessel so when um, I deliver it, it, it's received by those um, who need it. Hey girl, how are you? Um, I have a hard word today. So, um, I chose order my steps because before I deliver it, I was like, let me, um, get my steps ordered. So, thanks for joining. Um, I do have a hard word today. Um, it is a word of correction for us. It is a corporate word, but it is very directed to the city of New Orleans right now. You do see this all across the world honestly in different areas but um, New Orleans suffers with this um, and the Lord is not letting it slide anymore he's just like y'all tripping so uh, the word that the Lord gave me today was the prophetic word was division and so if if I I, I Put the Bible verses out there this morning. Hopefully you all, you know, took time to read it. If not, I am going to kind of break it down for you. Um, but before I do that, I did want to let you know that if you if you saw the post, it was good morning, Jonathan. If you saw the post, it was um, the Lord gave me two verses. He gave me Revelation 2, 20 through 23, and he gave me Romans 16, 17 through 19. So y'all will have seen that in my post. But in the actual uh, meme that I made, I just gave the first line of it and it said, but I have this complaint against you. You are permitting that woman, that Jezebel, who calls herself a prophet to lead my servants astray. She teaches them to commit sexual sin and eat food offered to idols. Okay, so that's what I put in there. So I wanna give um, 10 characteristics of the Jezebelic spirit before I kinda I go through this because I need you to understand who you're looking at and what is going on. So for all of you popping on right now, uh, the word that the Lord gave me was division. And it goes into conjunction with the post that I put this morning. And I put it up this morning because the in the word, the Lord gave the spirit Jezebel. And so that is one of the uh, spirits that is oppresses the city of New Orleans. And so I'm going to give you 10 characteristics of it before I jump into what he said so we can all be on the same page. Because if we're not on the same page, it's not, not, it's not for naught, but I want everybody to be at the same starting point when we have this conversation because it's not about one person. This is overall, this is a something that is, that is oppressing the city. And he wants us as believers to peep them out. And that's just what he's saying. He's like, what y'all doing? Y'all y'all tripping. Y'all, I called y'all to speak up. I called y'all to be bold. I called y'all to be courageous. And y'all sitting on your hands. And so he's like, there's too much division in the city of New Orleans. And this spirit is causing division in the city. And this is going to be through leadership and clergy. So it's not one person. This is through leadership and, and clergy. And this may be in different um, industries as well. But I'm going to give you the characteristics so you can see what I'm talking about. And it's not a man or a female. Get that out there. It's just these. Let me give you these characteristics. So I'm going to break these down. Ten. <sighs> Y'all, it's a hard word. Um, number one, Jezebel's ultimate goal is always control. Control, control, control. They are motivated by um, their own agenda and they relentlessly pursue it. Number two, the Jezebelic spirit attacks, dominates, or manipulates, especially um, people in authority. Um, like male authority too. They really kind of don't, they like to control them. Um, three, Jezebel causes fear, flight, and discouragement. Number four, people under Jezebel's influence are natural leaders, although often covertly. The spirit attempts to seek out people of influence to win their ear, to gain credibility, and win endorsement for their toxic causes. Number five, people under this spirit are often insecure and wounded with pronounced egocentric needs. Number six, the spirit functions subtly and deceptively. Um, they use flattery to win you over through their domination. Number seven, people under this 
um, are usually very proud, independent, and rebellious. Um, number eight, it takes an Ahab to let this, uh, this type of spirit or this type of person operate unchallenged. So you have people who are like, yes, like guessing them and yeah, it's okay. No, it's not okay. And if y'all know the, the story, it was King Ahab, uh, Queen Jezebel married him and brought ball worship into the kingdom. So that's kind of that. And so he kind of let her do it. So that's what God is talking about there. Nine, um, the spirit is always in alignment with the religious spirit. Um, God's talking about leadership and clergy putting them together he's like uh, well if you're going to go together then you need to be checking each other and they're not uh jezebel is rampant throughout and number 10 families of people under this influence are often out of order this um spirit will control their partners and cause their children to like take sides um they grow up very insecure disrespectful of their parents most of their fathers most time because of the mothers and they feel manipulated and become distrustful toward true authority so you will see this from our leaders in our clergy but the problem is that god is so angry with our leadership and clergy for letting this take place because it trickles down to the sheep and then his people are affected and so that's why he's really hot because um not taking care of the flock and if you're leading the flock not to him there's only one other place so there's that so i'm gonna read um yeah, i'm gonna read the word and then i'm gonna break i'm gonna give you uh, the seven points he gave me and I'm not going to mince words. I'm just going to give you what he gave me and then I'm going to go back to the word and it just is what it is. So um, Revelation 2 and 20, it's three verses, 20 through 23. Um, but I have this complaint against you and he's talking to us, his kingdom, his people. You are permitting that woman, that Jezebel, who calls herself a prophet to lead my servants astray. She teaches them to commit sexual immorality and eat food offered to idols. I gave her time to repent, but she does not want to turn away from her immorality. Therefore, I will throw her on a bed of suffering, and those who commit adultery with her will suffer greatly unless they repent and turn away from their evil deeds. I will strike her children dead. Then all the churches will know that I am the one who searches out the thoughts and intentions of every person, and I will give to each of you whatever you deserve. So y'all know that this is the year of justice. I have been saying this since at least eight months of it. Um, and if you've been following my my words, you know that the cleanse is here for tomorrow for, for New Orleans. He gave that to me yesterday. The cleanse is here. So y'all get off the fence, get off the fence, get off the fence. I cannot tell you any more clearer. So the Lord's about to tell you and be very direct and clear. Um, here are the seven points that he gave me um, regarding today's word. And that was the vision because there's too much in this city being caused by this spirit. So number one, there is a Jezebelic spirit working in New Orleans um, throughout the leadership and clergy. And you see it and say nothing. Number two, these leaders with this spirit have been warned by God multiple times number three they like the sin they're in so God is going to handle them accordingly and those who allowed the community to suffer at their hands he's going to handle all of them unless they repent number four they have up until the moment of reckoning to repent and turn away from their sin. Number five, if they do not repent, each of them will be getting exactly what they deserve. Number six, watch the people you are around that are leading you and others into sin. Smooth talk has people fooled right now. Do not be deceived. Kingdom, he wants you to stand firm in your obedience, especially right now. Obedience, obedience, obedience. You see me being obedient. I'm asking y'all the same thing. I'm asking for your souls, honestly. He's calling for our obedience. Kingdom, obedience. Get off the fence. Stop being lukewarm. 
get it together. It's the year of justice. We need to do what we need to do. And he's requiring that of us. And the word that is with that is Romans 16, 17 through 19. And, and these are the Lord's direct words. And now I make one more appeal. My dear brothers and sisters, watch out for people who cause divisions and upset people's faith by teaching things contrary to what you have been taught. Stay away from them. Such people are not serving Christ our Lord. They are serving their own personal interest. By smooth talk and glowing words, they deceive innocent people. But everyone knows that you are obedient to the Lord. And he's talking to, you know, his, his kingdom. This makes me very happy. I want you to be wise in doing right to stay innocent of any wrong. So what the Lord has done today is shine a light on the Jezebelic spirit that has overcome the city of New Orleans. He's over it. He's not here for it. And he's here to cleanse the city and to save his people. Um, the three kind of larger spirits that do ride over New Orleans, um, principalities, strongholds, things like that are Leviathan, which is pride, like spiritual constriction, which is why you honestly don't see a lot of protect prophetic activity in the city of New Orleans because we, we have a restraint on the city of New Orleans. This thing sits on us like nobody's business. Prideful, very prideful, angry spirit. Um, Absalom, he's kind of, that spirit is like the male version of Jezebel, but he's like the loving back, backstabber. That's what you see a lot of right now. The Judas is coming out. Everybody's finding out they friend of the whatever. The Lord is showing you who they are because they can't move into the, your next season. People are getting their feelings hurt. Ch get your heart ready. If you haven't seen who that person is or they haven't been exposed, they're about to be. So get your heart ready. The Lord is showing you it's a protection measure. So when it happens, he doesn't want you to hurt as much because he's like, I did it to protect you because I see what you don't see. And when I give you this gift um, to your next level, they can't come because if they come, they're going to mess up your gift and they're going to taint it. It's toxic. So they can't come. So that was the word that the Lord gave me today. It was very hard because y'all know um, I'm from here. I do know a lot of the leadership and clergy personally. I love each and every one of them. And I want everyone, you know, to, to get back on the train and get right with God so that we can all, you know, move New Orleans into this revival together. But what he has shown me is that's not happening some people are 10 toes down and um yeah he's his order is coming well it's here he's it's working right now you see it um so that's the word i have today it was a hard word um but that's what i'm here for i'm here for your souls not anyone's feelings i love y'all so if you didn't see the whole thing um i do really uh suggest that you go back and watch it um i'm trying to keep them a little shorter so that uh people can go back and watch it because this is really something that everyone needs to see because the floods are coming and um yeah so i love y'all take care it's a hard word um jezebelic spirit is working in new orleans you see it we're saying nothing and he's not happy with us He's saying, speak up in your spheres of influence and get your mind right. You see it. Stop acting like you don't. You are kingdom people. You know right. You, we know right from wrong. You see it. Now what you going to do about it? New Orleans is known for, 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 for going on, you know, for, for just following or whatever. At what point are we going to do something different? We can, you know, um, what was the definition of... I can't even think of it. You know, insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. If we want a different result, if we want this revival, well, the revival's coming and you want to be a part of it? There's only two teams. There's a lot of deception. There's a lot of religion. Jesus is not here for their religion. Jesus is here for your soul. He wants a direct relationship with you. Not your, not your priest, not your bishop, not your pastor, not... Yep, apostle, not, not, none of them. He wants you directly. So we need to get that checked. We need to start paying attention to the people around us and not accept their sin. We want to, we have, if we're going to be kingdom, kingdom is righteous judgment. We're not judging people on their journey or where they are. But if you see somebody and you know, like, why wouldn't you help them out? Like, you won't come to the kingdom with me? Hey, come on. 
you know? So that's what we're called to do as Christians, right? That's what we're called to do as believers. So it's time to walk it. He's calling y'all to the table. Let's go, y'all. Love y'all. Bye.